Howdy, this is Jay Shell for EUG, and welcome back to my channel of various things keeping this old hermit alive. Modular synthesizer experiments, graphical experiments, photography ramblings, philosophy, poetry, hats. This is a photography one. Uh, this is part of the series uh, kind of a loose series about some compact uh, shooting setups for Fujifilm uh, XE and X Pro bodies, Fujifilm's rangefinder style bodies. And today I am talking about the Seven Artisans M mount 35mm f5.6, uh, adapted to Fujifilm bodies. Part of why I wanted to do this series is because I see plenty of videos about this lens, primarily on Leica bodies for which it is intended, and there are a couple of photo walks on Fujifilm bodies as of the time I'm recording this, and not a lot where I can see it on the body. Now, I believe that Seven Artisans meant this to be uh, appealing to non Leica people as well because this lens holder holds the lens, the adapter, and a lens adapter's uh, rear lens cap perfectly. So you can have this in its little leather pouch, fully mounted for Fujifilm, and ready to go by having it on an adapter. I have this on the Seven Artisans close focus adapter, which I am finding to be one of the better options for adapting because you this has the helicoid for some additional focusing, this extra ring on the adapter itself, and that can be helpful when focusing at infinity or dealing with uh, focus in some situations where you have a very tiny focus lever, such as on this lens. Let's look at it on an XE3. And here is the lens on the Fuji XE3. Uh, this sticks out with the adapter about one inch, slightly less than one inch. This should make it comparable to the Fujifilm 27mm f2. Uh, no lens cap is required. This is sort of a body cap lens. Um, when the focus lever is all the way down, it does close to protect the lens. However, this opens up very easily, so the lens isn't that well protected in here. I wish this had a lock to get into and out of its closed mode. But with no filters and no lens cap, especially on the smaller, lighter weight XE bodies, uh, possibly on the XT30, 2010, those smaller bodies, this is very pocketable and it's not bad on the X Pro one either. Here are some photos of this lens on a couple of different adapters so you can kind of see its profile. It works on any M mount adapter although I would recommend just kind of for visual purposes not to use the TT Artisans or Seven Artisans uh, tapered adapters that have the little slope to them. It makes this look kind of like a big weird mushroom. It doesn't impact usability in any way, but this is kind of a stylish lens, I think, and uh, on a just strain, straight round adapter, uh, it looks better. And I found these work best on these helicoid adapters because I've had problems where I thought this was at infinity or close to it. And when taking some shots across the street, 
Well, it's hard to know this focus scale and this infinity or just below is where I think some of your real usage for this lens might be. This does not really have any zones. The focus goes from 0.3 to 0.5 to infinity in this very narrow range. And the close focus adapter gives you a little bit of extra control to shim the lens out further to kind of ensure it can grab at infinity. It is useful for closer focus setups, although uh, with a minimum focus of 0.3 meters. Uh, I've certainly found this gets kind of as close as I want on its own in most cases. But still, if you're going to invest in only one adapter, I would recommend a close focus one. This lens comes in four styles. The black and gold as seen here, a uh, silver face with gold ring, a uh, silver face with a black ring, and a uh, black face and black ring for kind of ultimate stealth if you'd like. I found myself kind of drawn to this gold ring version as it just gives a little bit of style and it kind of reminds me in a way of the colored ring on the Rico GR special editions. Here's the lens on the Fujifilm X Pro 1, and it would look about the same on the X Pro 2 and 3. This version in particular looks great against the all black kind of natural coloring of the X Pro series. And as you see, the lens is very centered here on the XE which doesn't have the big optical viewfinder, it sits slightly to the right. Uh, here you can kind of see the size differences between the two and why again this uh, body cap-ish lens works especially great on the XE style of body if kind of pocketability is what you're interested in. Although it does look great on the X-Pro, and this can certainly uh, fit in large pockets, cargo short pockets. Um, although with the heavier X-Pro 1 especially, I, this does kind of bang into your knee a bit more. As for usage, uh, I have only had this lens for a few weeks, and I have not liked it as much as I thought I would. I actually do like seeing it on the cameras. It does look nice on them. It is very stylish. Uh, the 35 millimeter on the APS-C mount is kind of equivalent to shooting 53 millimeters. And I have found that is a bit too deep for my general liking for what I shoot. So I find myself really drawn towards the wider angles. So on, and if this were a 21, 24, or 28, then even on APS-C, I think I would like this a bit more and use this a bit more. I certainly like the 18 millimeter UFO adapter. Uh, which really does look good on the XZ3. It does look a little silly on the X-Pro1, th that flat. But, uh, and this doesn't quite have enough character that I've discovered yet to be of interest as a character and stylish lens. Uh, I do have a number of 35mm lenses for the X-Pro, or for my Fujis. So again, at that 50mm range, which I don't like that much, or it's not like, it's shooting pictures of houses, buildings, streets. Not necessarily street photography of people, but just pictures of streets and signs. Uh, the wider angle definitely suits me more. 
I think this could be interesting to bring into, you know, concerts, uh, picnics, kind of larger gatherings. But with this kind of limited focus lever, any of Fuji's native primes, while being bigger, you know, if you're not in a situation where you need this to be pocketed, those will suit you better. The Seven Artisans 35 millimeter f1.2 uh, is gets you a lot more physical control on the lens, both aperture and focus. The Fujian 35 millimeter f1.6 is fairly small, and that is a lens with a lot of distortion, so a lot of character. I will have videos on both of those. Uh, I find myself liking the TT Artisan 28mm M mount 5.6, and I will have a separate video on that. Do really enjoy that. This is getting a bit lost in the fray, but I will see kind of how it gets used through the year. Although I think, get, again, if I'm wanting 35mm on my Fuji, I have many more options. And if I'm wanting something small and flat, Fuji's 27mm, uh, TD Artisan M 28mm at 5.6, the Fuji 18mm uh, F2, or the Fuji 16mm F2.8, those get a little bit beyond uh, pocketability but are still very compact and I think suit me more than this. So I think if I were keeping the XE3 or if I do pick up another small size Fuji camera, an XE1, 2, or XM1, this might kind of have more life as the ready to pick up and be used as a compact camera. But I don't see myself using this as a main lens all that often. But I am glad that I picked it up. I do like how it looks on the cameras, and I look forward to experimenting with it a bit more and seeing if I still have it in a few months. But those are my thoughts and kind of how this lens looks on a Fuji body.